quiet here. It's got a tough back uh, behind the woods a little ways off of the highway. Flying J. Couple other vans here and rigs. They let you stay overnight here for free, it's no cost. This place is usually pretty quiet. They got some woods surrounding it back off the highway. So, still kind of just have the basic setup going on. But, like I said, this is all you need. Slowly working on, you know, getting more stuff for the van. But, I've got all the essentials that I need just from uh, my previous uh, vans. So, I got my body heater, water jug, 12 volt cooler, of course the jackery box, my trash can, camera equipment. Right now it's uh, 64 degrees up inside the box, 58% humidity, so it's actually a uh, not too bad in here. It's it's about 48 degrees outside tonight. So I don't even think I'm gonna need to uh, light the uh, buddy heater up, or actually use my uh, heated blanket, which um, works off of my Jackery box. Which is really cool that that has enough power to run that. So, get these lights on back here. So, I can basically set up this Jackery box. And I got a USB light, plugs into it. You can clip it anywhere. Works out really good. Only uses about five watts of power. Let me just plug this in right here. Turn it on for the USB. This bulb's got a clip so you can hang it anywhere. I'll just usually kind of hang it up here when I really need to see. And then to be a little more stealthy, I'll move it down lower once uh, I get everything set up. So I just click that switch on. And like daylight but yeah I got the front curtain blackout curtain for like the front windows wraps around the windshield and the driver and passenger 
I just have that hooked up across the top for now. I did get some uh, curtains also to put there. I just haven't got them put up yet. Might do that later. Tonight or tomorrow. Got the curtain rod. Got Clorox wipes and some rubber gloves and some other sanitizer. Basically to keep everything clean. With the uh, whole virus madness going on. Hope everyone's safe out there. Gonna make my bed up here. And uh... Probably just sit back and uh, gather some thoughts on some other things I'd like to do for the van as well. But yeah, just wanted to do this up because I wanted to check these couple parks out and explore them and let you guys take a look at them and just show you, like I said, it doesn't take much to get out and enjoy nature camp out you don't need a big fancy rig basically just need a van or any kind of vehicle for that matter there's people actually up here in uh, some trucks and cars and minivans I was even noticing as well as there's a Class C parked behind me. The guy's got a pretty nice boat on the back. And there's a couple other vans here. So, got my bed for right now. The couch bed. This uh, works out pretty nice. All my gears in the back here. Got my electric blanket, propane, box of uh, kitchen, and uh, cooking stuff, coffee dripper, and a uh, one burner stove for right now. My sleeping bags, but I don't really think I'm gonna need my uh, electric blanket tonight. So, right now, I'm just currently using the stock uh, couch bed in the back and just you know took out the other seats threw down a throw rug just to make it a little more cozy and homey inside here so you know get some power turned on here so that way I can uh, lay the bed back so I've got the power on got these uh, lights inside here I put some uh, LEDs in the ones and then the other stock ones that it comes with. Makes it look a little classy. A little more fancier than you need, but it's how it came, so. So yeah, this just lays back with the push of a button. And it's actually a lot more comfortable than my last three vans because this one lays down completely flat and doesn't have any uh, lumps in it and I also have an air mattress I keep underneath of it just in case anybody else rides along for the journey so yeah I'm gonna get my bed set up here and uh, go from there Yeah, it's daytime. It's getting up here. Sun just came up. About to pack up everything, sleeping wise. Probably uh, head inside here and get a cup of coffee and a Danish. Let's see what the temperature actually did get down a little bit. Down to 55 and up to 60. 
64 percent humidity. Pretty sure that was a complete switch around. So yeah, I got everything cleaned up, put away. Back in drive mode. I'm gonna pull over there, go in the store, grab a couple things. These guys are still here, I guess. You know, the people are still here. There's the box. I guess they're gonna take advantage of the cheap gas price. And we'll be on our way up here to check out these two little parks. Explore around them a little bit. I was saying it was gonna be a lot nicer out today than it actually is. It was, the weather was calling for uh, sunshine in the morning. It's been raining around here the past few days. The sun is not shining, that's for sure. But it's not gonna stop us. Every day is different in Vanford Lifestyles. No days are the same. Every day is different. That's what's cool about it. Every day is a new journey. So, yeah, I usually like to make my coffee uh, in the van, it seems to taste better that way. In the old dripper, but their coffee is actually pretty good since they let you stay here, support them with a few dollars. They said they're gonna take advantage of the cheap gas right now. So yeah, we just filled up the box here. Only cost forty-five dollars for a full tank. That's so crazy to even think about. But I'll take it. Dollar
The other one is just right down the street from here. This place is back off the road a good minute. Nice and quiet out here. Pretty peaceful morning. Nice out. All the birds chirping. It was saying a sunny morning, but let's check the weather again. It's kind of pushed off till uh, later on today. I guess the sun's going to shine out for a little bit and just be a mixture of sun and clouds. Got the box parked up over there. This little lake goes out here. Band for Lifestyles. Their coffee is pretty good. I still think making your own coffee inside the van's a lot better, but. Good old truck stop coffee, you know. All the trees are starting to bud back out. Stuff's just starting to green up around these parts. Grasses are getting nice and green again. A little green tint to the trees. Very peaceful and quiet out here, nice and relaxing. If you like nature, this is a pretty cool place to check out. Like I said it's just a little uh, daytime use park. There is like a little pool off over there on the other side of this hill. You could probably park back in there and camp out for the night. I don't see anybody really bothering you out here. but. It's just a chance you'd take, I guess. So, great morning out, no wind at all right now, very calm. Pretty awesome. A big old fish just jumped right there. Of course, I just turned the camera off. I would have caught that on the film. That was pretty gnarly looking though. And you can see the ripples a little bit of the water moving still from it. That was pretty sick. A lot of the parks are closed around in this way for camping right now. They're staying until the end of April at least because of everything going on right now. So they are open for daytime use still, hiking, bicycling, walking, kayaking, fishing, stuff like that. Apparently just no camping or uh, gatherings, gotta keep the whole uh, social distancing. Try to keep everybody safe and get through this, hopefully uh, they come up with something soon here. Good old box there. Just chilling out by the pond. Pecker's still pecking away at his wood out there. I don't know if this mic picks that up or not. A little fish action over there. Fish are definitely active this morning. And I definitely have to come back here and throw a line in.
probably seen three or four of them so far and I'm straight up out the water. I kind of keep missing them on film, of course. But that happens. They're pretty quick. I try to be a little more slow moving pace. I guess these old fish are a lot faster than this old vamper. All in all, this place is pretty clean. I hate when people come out here and uh, leave trash everywhere. I mean, there is a little bit of trash here and there. It's like. You know, if you come out here for picnicking and camping or fishing, bring in what trash you have, like, don't leave it laying on the ground. Because it's things like that that get these free places closed down. And it just pollutes the earth as well. And ruins the beauty of the nature. Got two woodpeckers off in the distance I can hear now. around here I guess start going around checking out seeing what all they have to offer most of them are all just little daytime parks like I said right now everything is kind of on lockdown with everything going on so hopefully everybody can stay safe and we'll all get through this together but we're gonna ride on to the next little park here Check back in with y'all then. So yeah, we're gonna head on out of here. Ride down the road a couple miles. Check out this other park. Have a little look there. Oh, this is a pretty cool little place to enjoy some morning coffee. Watch the nature wake up around you. Pretty good night vamping out. Nice and peaceful. Check back in with y'all when we get out to the other park here. Thank you. 
Okay, pretty much what they got here. Some parking spots available for cars. And they got trailer parking. Little boat ramp here. Got a sign over here. See what they got going on. Apparently this place has a lot of uh, bald eagle nesting in the area. They try to preserve, nature preserve. So this sign here, a Native American campsite. So that's awesome. The Native Americans were camping at this particular site. Apparently they found a lot of uh, Native American artifacts when they were uh, building this place here. So a lot of information on this sign here about them. All the archaeologists found all kinds of different things from the Native Americans out here. In the south west tip of New Jersey. It's like a little wildlife preserve, I guess. Not very big of a park, but I see they got like a kayak launch here. So here's the free little boat ramp. It's pretty nice for being free. Like I said, you can see all the green starting to come back into the woods now and trees. A couple people out here fishing off in the distance. If you can see them or not. Really cool place though. Very peaceful. Right off an old country road. Just outside of town. Nice little ramp here and dock. Apparently this place is pretty big on uh, bass. Both large mouth and small mouth. Uh, a lot of crappie out here as well, and uh, a lot of turtles. Really cool looking though. Try to zoom in there a little bit and give you all a better shot. Definitely a really peaceful uh, morning out here today. said it's great having a van and being able to just go wherever and camp and check out these cool little places riding around enjoying the day finishing up my morning coffee here but pretty peaceful morning overall you hear the owl in the background still that's really cool sounding. Pretty peaceful and relaxing. The water's really calm. It's like glass out here today. No wind at all. A little shot at the free boat ramp again. Really nice, it's all concrete. Apparently this creek runs pretty far out through these uh, country back roads here. Like I said, it looks like there's a couple boats out here now. There's one right there off you can see. A couple guys doing some bass fishing along the bank there. Really cool. Probably just hang out here for a little while, finish up my coffee, maybe think a little bit more about what else I'd like to get going on with the van here, but I'm in no hurry to do that. The box is working out great how it is. Like I said before, I just got the bare minimum stuff needed, even more than needed. But. 
Yeah, a lot of these places don't have trash cans. This place actually does have a place to throw your old uh, fishing tackle and stuff so it doesn't affect the wildlife. So, it's a carry in, carry out place. Um, it's overall pretty clean out here. A little trash in places. Like I said, it's things like that that get these types of places closed down. They're open for free public use and they try to keep it minimal maintenance. That way it stays free and stays open. And people leave their trash around and that's what gets them closed up. So it's always good to carry out your trash that you bring in with you. There's always a trash can close by. All the gas stations and little stores have trash cans you can throw your trash away in. So, don't need to be destroying nature. So, there are a couple trails through here. They look a little grown in though. I guess you can hike around the edge of this uh, creek and everything. really peaceful out here. Birds are still chirping away. Sun's been up for, well, I wouldn't say the sun's up, but it's broke daylight for about two hours now. It's still a really calm, peaceful morning. There's a little fish jumping there too. Awesome. Fish are very active today. You can tell the water temperatures are probably coming up and they're moving along. I'm gonna have to get out here one day and check it out. Toss in a line or two to see what we can catch. Get the kayak out. light traffic on this road that this place is off of. Other than that, it's definitely very quiet and peaceful out here. So, like I said, probably sit here, finish up my coffee, maybe work on a little video editing, probably take a few photos. Roll on to the next place. fish jumped out of the water I just missed it on the camera because I just stopped recording for a second I was adjusting everything and getting ready to walk on the little trail around there but yeah this has some nice sandy banks along the edges which is really good for uh, fishing fish love hanging out along the sandy beaches there chill out here a little bit probably take a couple photos really nice view out here along this creek can't believe how calm and glassy the water is little dock here like I said 
along the boat ramp here. Free for daytime use. Great place to be. Outdoors, loving nature. Keeping self distance from everyone. Social distancing, however you'd like to call it, quarantining. But yeah, all in all, very great place. It's been an awesome morning so far. Definitely come back and check these places out again here soon. Throw in a line. See what we can catch out here. So yeah, everyone stay safe out there. And have a good day. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Thank you all for the support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. It really helps out along this Vamper Lifestyles journey. Thank you all again for the support and love. See you in the next video. Peace.